করোনা মহামারীর আবহে সুখবর দিলেন আইআইটি খড়গপুরের গবেষকেরা খড়গপুরের ইন্ডিয়ান ইনস্টিটিউট অফ টেকনোলজির গবেষকেরা এক অভিনব যন্ত্র আবিষ্কার করেছেন যা দিয়ে কোনো ব্যক্তি করোনা ভাইরাসে সংক্রমিত কিনা তা দ্রুত নির্ণয় করা সম্ভব হবে আজ এক অনলাইন সাংবাদিক সম্মেলনের মাধ্যমে কোভিড নাইন্টিন র্যাপিড টেস্টের জন্য নতুন প্রযুক্তি প্রকাশ্যে এনেছেন তারা প্রতিষ্ঠানের দাবি এটি বিশ্বের প্রথম এক ধরনের বহনযোগ্য দ্রুত নির্ণায়ক একটি ডিভাইস খড়গপুর আইআইটির গবেষকদের দাবি অত্যন্ত কম খরচে করোনা সংক্রমিতের নমুনা পরীক্ষা করতে সক্ষম এই যন্ত্রটি সর্বোচ্চ চারশো টাকা খরচ করলেই নির্ণয় করা যাবে কোনো ব্যক্তি করোনায় সংক্রমিত কিনা COVID-19 infection has already affected overwhelmingly large global population. It threatens to infect much wider section by community level spreading. This now requires disruptive intervention in the detection technology. Towards developing a portable low cost detection unit which can be potentially used at any location incurring very low cost per test at the same time without compromising with the reliability and accuracy of the test results. Our research team from IIT Kharagpur has devised a disruptive approach to low cost non-invasive rapid diagnostics of COVID-19. This is very much different from the traditional detection systems being used worldwide. This method has eliminated completely the need of a PCR machine. What it includes? It includes a portable automated pre-programmable temperature control unit, a special detection unit on genomic analysis and a customized smartphone app for dissemination of the test results without requiring absolutely any manual interpretation. What it essentially uses is a simple paper strip for chemical analysis and visualization of results. The main protocol that we are using for this detection procedure has been developed in the School of Bioscience. And this particular protocol is completely novel. Nobody since till date has reported uh, this particular protocol in any international or national journals. So here, the main point of in detecting virus infection is the accuracy of the result. And that's why this technique should be highly precise. It should be able to precisely detect the viral RNA sequence. And that's why in this particular protocol, we have added three different checkpoints. In the first step, we are using specific probes we call it primers, which can specifically detect the viral RNA and then convert it into millions of copies of DNA. Subsequently, in the second step, those DNA molecules get detected specifically by the second probe. So that's our second checkpoint. And finally, when we are applying these reaction mixture on the paper cartridge that we have developed, there we have added the third probe, which can detect the probe that we have used in the second step. So as you can see, these three probes acts as a specific checkpoints which ensures high precision and accuracy of the test result. 
we have proven that that this device is capable of producing no false results with remarkable accuracy and sensitivity compatible with the standard rtpcr tests but at an unprecedented low cost per test this has not only been validated for the diagnostics of covid-19 but also has been designed to be capable of detecting any other kind of rna virus by following very similar procedure this device we have designed to be usable at locations where resources are extremely limited environment is absolutely uncontrolled so that the needs of the underserved community can be catered it can be operated by minimally trained personnel like rural uh, men and women without the need of any skilled highly trained technicians the impact of this innovation is therefore not just restricted to covid-19 but is much more long lasting empowered by the capability of detecting unforeseen viral infections and pandemics in the coming years that may again potentially endanger human lives over time and again in this aspect the technology which professor chakravarti and his team has used through this microfluidic lab a small box uh, which they have created where a simple uh, sample can be taken and that sample within an hour's time is in a position to tell whether the person is positive or not and uh, i congratulate him i have seen this thing and i wish that more and more such devices should be made my commercial devices should be made some of the commercial the uh, houses should be approached and if they can take on a large scale basis i think this will be a great uh, uh, you can say that a great uh, service to the human uh, mankind